I'm going to do something a little different in this video. Normally I talk to you guys a good bit about information that I've learned from being in the field as well as in the garage and this is going to be somewhat of a how not to video so that you don't suffer the same experience that I did. This is the Juggernaut wing sent to me by Ruben over at Sweep Wings. We've been working together over the past few months to collaborate on a good setup so that you can get Pixhawk going with the camera. And over the past couple weeks, I've worked hard to get everything in place, configure this for Elevons. This is the first time I've done Elevons strictly through the Pixhawk. I've auto-tuned this guy in the air to get everything dialed in. I'll be sharing videos on how to do all of this in the near future. This is the camera trigger that's based off a of distance. This was sent to me by Rob Dunbar. He's Reno Flash on YouTube. I'll definitely be doing a follow-up video talking more about this cable. Definitely makes things a lot easier. Your pictures are spaced out nicely for post-processing. And believe it or not, this juggernaut basically fell out of the sky from about 300 feet the other day and I was able to recover everything put it back in but before I get into the details of what caused that let me just show you guys a quick flight with this juggernaut completely dialed in and flying well doing a mapping mission covering about I don't know about 200 acres I just got this thing dialed in it's flying really well went through APM plane auto tuning with Pixhawk and definitely plan on doing a how-to video soon but for now, I figured I'd get out to the field. As you can see, this juggernaut handles very well in the air. It's been working great. Done several missions with it. And before I get into the cause of my crash, let me show you some of the damage. When the juggernaut hit the ground, you can see that it cracked my screen on the Canon SX260. I can no longer get the lens cover to go all the way in, but Surprisingly, this camera works well, CHDK still works properly, and you'll notice that the trigger cable sent to me by Rob Dunbar is bent, but still trigger properly. Upon impact, the GPS and compass flew out of the wing. It ripped this cable out of the Pixhawk, as well as my telemetry cable. You can see a little corner of this Pixhawk is damaged. Basically, all the components were ripped out laying on the ground and the ESC since it was attached to the battery was laying about 30 feet away these leads were ripped away from the motor and even the X8R with this antenna mast and I highly recommend checking this guy out it's on Thingiverse from user Carbo 3D printed that and have been using that for a while this had all come apart and thankfully nothing was broken now here's a quick photo of the wing after I had retrieved all of the components And lastly, the Juggernaut didn't sustain too much damage. This thing is incredibly durable. You can see, I believe this is where, when the impact happened, this battery pushed up against this piece of foam and knocked it out. And looking at the front of the wing, you'll see that there's dirt on these rafts, but definitely still held tight. So really, just all in all, very impressed with the durability of this wing. So let me go ahead and show you guys Mission Planner and where I went wrong. So I'm in Mission Planner looking at the Survey Grid tool and recently when I've been planning my missions I've been using the flying speed setting here so you can click use speed for this mission I'm flying with a airspeed sensor and I'll normally run that anywhere between 12 and 15 meters per second so let's just put that at 15 and then I'll accept the mission. You can see the mission here. This was the first one. Ran it. Everything went well. Photos looked great. I stitched them all together. So everything was working fine. Then I wanted to go and fly another piece of the property. So after landing I switched out my camera battery, put a new battery in the Juggernaut, went in and created a new mission. Then I went to survey grid again and if you check out the defaults you'll notice that use speed for this mission is still checked but the flying speed actually gets reset back to five. Now that's obviously not a big deal if you're flying a multi-rotor 
but I was flying the Juggernaut wing and what happened when it got to the first waypoint after auto takeoff, it reduced speed down to five meters a second. And since there was a considerable amount of wind that day, the Juggernaut and Pixhawk really couldn't handle that slow flying speed and ultimately turned upside down. I tried to take control in fly-by-wire A mode. Then I thought later on about going to RTL mode, but it was too late. The wing was upside down. I couldn't tell orientation and it basically plummeted to the ground. So let me show you a couple photos as seen from the Canon SX260. Now this is a photo right before we lost control. Then you can see here we're starting to go upside down. Then finally the last photo that was taken before we hit the ground. Now you'll notice right there that there's a creek and thankfully it landed right next to the creek. I just wanted to share that experience with you guys. Don't always assume the changes that you make won't get reverted when you're messing with Mission Planner. Just be safe, review everything. I've definitely added that to my checklist. And please stay tuned with this juggernaut. Ruben is working on a new iteration. I'm going to request that he has some sort of cutout for a receiver because you get so much better range with this antenna mast. I'm definitely looking forward to getting this back in the air with all the original components and just see how everything holds up. So thank you guys for tuning in. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.